My first test run of the Magna with the VFR motor ran great up until about 6500 RPMs, then it started bogging out and wouldn't go any faster. I was using the Magna carburetors with the VFR jets. I had to use the Magna carbs because the VFR carbs I had were from a 3rd gen VFR. They won't fit with the Magna airbox. If you have the carbs from a 4th gen VFR, which would be a 94 through a 97, they'll fit up fine with the Magna airbox. So the Magna carbs with the 130 mains and the 40 pilots from the VFR were starving for fuel, so I had ordered some bigger jets. It took about a week for them to come in, so while I was waiting, I thought maybe I'd try using the fuel pump since the VFR uses one. I had the VFR motor running on a test stand using the VFR carbs and a fuel pump, so I decided to mount that pump on the Magna and see if it would work. Spoiler alert, it didn't work. The Magna carbs weren't designed to hold back even the 5 PSI this pump puts out. Probably would have been fine with the VFR carbs because they're designed for it, so I'll walk through how I mounted the pump. I should mention that I'm not using a VFR fuel pump. This pump has a similar pressure and flow rating, but it uses electronics where the VFR pump has mechanical contacts that wear out. The most room seemed to be above the canister for the California emissions. Here's what it looks like from underneath the bike. Removing the canister left me with this, so I decided to make a bracket for the fuel pump that would use the same mounting points as the canister. If you don't have California emissions, you probably don't even have this bracket, so you'll have to find another way. I ended up with a slightly bent bracket that had two holes that matched with the canister mounting holes and two bolts I welded in as studs to mount the fuel pump. I added the inline fuel filter and then mounted it in place. Here's what it looked like before and after. And a couple other pictures. This fuel line here was something that came with the VFR carb I had, and I had to buy another line to feed down into my fuel pump that I have down in there. And I'll cut it off here wherever it touches off on the tank, but it ends up running right above my spark plug wire there. This is going to be my first attempt to start it with the fuel pump on. I still got it hanging from the garage ceiling to hold it straight up. If I put it on the car ramps, it let me get under here and work where I needed to put the fuel pump in. I think there was still a little bit of fuel in the, in the car bowls. I can hear the fuel pump going out. It's supposed to shut off when it hits 5 PSI. Well, the fuel pump definitely made it worse. Oh, and there's fuel. Well, the fuel pump didn't work. That'll come off. 